So for those people uh, not knowing what's going on, a quick, quick summary here. Uh, domain names enable you to control a website and people like net firms are registrars that allow you to point your name towards a particular company to serve out the data. Now, the only control, owning or controlling a domain name, like an example, let's say owning NBC.com or CanadianGovernment.ca, are very important because they they control people's impression of what NBC is doing. So, if you could control NBC.com, you'd be a very rich guy. So, domain names are very important for businesses, but they're based on registering them with a company that then in turn points them towards the correct place. So, an example, Net Firms is a company of that nature. So. Currently, I have a domain in their company, and I want to uh, transfer it out because they're charging extra money. I want to go to a different firm, which means there's multiple companies that are not in a monopoly. They're all competing to provide the service of basically pointing your domain name towards a particular uh, server. So we go to uh, down here to transfer, and down at the bottom, it says uh, what the transfer requirements are. Um, currently, it's unlocked, it's disabled, it's a domain, it can be transferred if you want to. Down at the bottom, it has an email address, and that email address you have to send a code to. And once the code is sent, you send that code to the new company, which allows you the transfer to occur. However, the problem being is that you have to receive the code. And to receive the code, you have to have an email address associated with the account. The email address on this account is probably 20 years old. It's very old. So you go and you say, okay, fine, we'll edit that. We'll change it. We go in here, and the um, owner is the correct information. The administration is the wrong information. So we want to change that. So we go to edit contact, and we edit contact. Um, and then we save. And when it comes back, it'll come back probably with an error indicating that the information you're trying to change cannot be changed and it's still stuck with an email address from 20 years ago, which means that you can't have access to that email account. Therefore, you cannot get the code, and because you can't get the code, you can't transfer it out anyplace. So there you go, you see, it's an invalid request. Um, it's saying invalid request. And as you go here to uh, information, you go back to um, uh, transferring. And it's still stuck at the old email address. So there's a technical problem. So you go, okay, fine. Um, I'll just give them a call and see what's gone wrong. We can fix it. Guess what? None of the phone numbers work. They're all been disconnected. They have no phone number. You can't call them. All you can do is go over here to ask them for help. And, uh, of course, uh, this is a, a, um, <coughs> a AI sort of blog-based chit-chat thing. Uh, that I spent three hours on asking them, can you fix this? Can you get this to work? Why can't I change my email address to one I can currently use so I can get the access to the code so I can, you know, uh, transfer this out? Surprisingly, because of course they're in the business of keeping these names, they want to keep on charging me. They don't want to lose a customer. After a few hours of trying to get this resolved, they can't get it fixed. They're simply giving up and saying, well, t tough luck for you. We can't help you. Sorry. It can't be fixed. And that's after three hours of talking to them. So you figure, okay, fine. So obviously they're doing something screwy here. So either A, they're holding your domain name, you know, kidnapped. Uh, you know, they're uh, illegally holding on to your domain name, not allowing you to change or move it, which is would appear to be a very poor thing to be doing. Let's just go to the company that gives them a license to actually give these domains out. So because this is a, um, a .ca number, uh, .ca website, I mean, we go to .ca. Okay, fine. Let's go find the .ca people and uh, see if we can have a talk to them. Need some help. Okay, no problem. Um, I gave them a call. They said they called me back. They never did. But you can actually send me an email. You go down here and say, um, four days ago, I sent them a request telling them, hey, I'm having a problem with net firms. Can you help me out? And I listed all my .ca accounts, my phone number, and they're telling me they should get back to me shortly. Um, so if you more information about what's happening here, about how basically net firms is holding 
people's domain names for uh, hostage, I guess, um, and not releasing them, uh, you can um, get updated on uh, Excel. You go to Twitter, it's Paul Merton, P A U L M U R T O N, Paul Merton. You can go to TikTok, it's again Paul Merton, P A U L M U R T O N. You go to Instagram, it is again Paul Merton, P A U L M U R T O N. The only thing that's different is the YouTube account is Paul Merton Toronto. So again, at Paul Merton on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. The only difference is on YouTube, it's Paul Merton Toronto, and that's M U R T O N. We'll be posting videos about the progress of this uh, event. Apparently, as I say, uh, our people at NetFirms feel they can hold on to your your domain name and not uh, allow you to uh, export it out, and that they control your domain name and charge whatever they want to charge. And you not have the option of being able to transfer it out because they won't allow you to change the email address. Uh, okay, dokie. This is um, our first of the report. We'll be posting some more.